So there's this new keyboard mod that's been taking Discord by storm. It's called a tape mod, and it was originally introduced by Temptist via this YouTube video uploaded on June the 27th. Since then, there has been quite a bit of content made including it, and even Teha has tried it with the Blade 60 on stream. Now there seems to be quite some argument about how exactly this mod affects boards and what exactly it's doing, so I thought I'd make this video to discuss just that. But first, let's very briefly go over how to perform the mod. All you need to do is take masking tape and apply it to the bottom of your PCB. Or really, you can use any type of non-conductive tape and it should yield very similar results. Just don't use tape that's super sticky like gaffer's tape unless you want the mod to be, well, permanent. And that's it. I think the quick spread of this mod is partly due to how inexpensive, simple, fast, and compatible the mod is. Masking tape is super cheap on Amazon and you should already have some lying around. The work itself is one step and doesn't take longer than a minute or so. And 99% of keyboards will have a PCB. So now that we know how to do it, how exactly does this affect the sound? There's been mixed reports, but from what I've heard generally, it makes the sound of boards more poppy and less muted. Depending on the board, it could also make the sound lower pitched, or even make the keyboard louder overall. So finally, let's talk about why or how. What is this seemingly super simple mod doing that makes such a large sound difference? Well, out of all the feedback I've received, this is what I think. The tape mod is the exact opposite of sound dampening, in that the firm and non-permeated surface of the tape sort of acts as a sound reflector. In short, I think it bounces back the sound of the inner assembly, which is the PCB plate switches and keycaps, over the sound of the case. That's why depending on the keyboard's design, it can yield very different results. So theoretically, this means that it should make most, if not all boards louder, and also most boards poppier. But this also comes with a caveat that deterred me from trying this mod on some other boards. Let me explain. So again, what this mod is doing is making you hear more of the PCB sound over the case sound. And this is fine in most cases, generally entry-level boards, where the case is designed to be cheap and not the best sounding. But what about the more expensive boards, where the case is designed to be the best sounding? Could you possibly make your high-end keyboard sound worse? So why don't we compare tape mod versus no tape mod so you can hear firsthand for yourself. To me, the change in sound after modding is night and day, but whether it actually improved the sound is an entirely different question, and ultimately up to your preference to decide. Despite that, our initial findings were correct. It did make the boards all deeper sounding, and I think it especially improved the sound of the TH61. It also increased the volume of the Alpine just a tad. So the key takeaway from all this is that it's up to you whether you want to try this or not. The change in sound differs for every board, and depending on your build, you might not feel like you need it. And what's great about this mod is that it takes almost no effort to experiment with. So if you end up not liking the sound after tape modding, it's easy enough to go back. So overall, I think this mod is a serious consideration for your next build, and I think it's just super interesting that something so simple can have such a large impact on keyboard sound. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this episode of Near Lucid. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up. If you have feedback or questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'd be more than happy to answer. Also, these videos take lots of work. By subscribing, you're letting us know that you want us to keep making them. And if you find my voice annoying, you can always unsubscribe. That's all for this video. I'll see you guys later.